welcome back folks. This is lesson 16. And this time I'm taking you further afield from Suffolk, which we did last painting. And I thought we'd travel across the Atlantic to the Big Apple. This is a picture of the Statue of Liberty and Manhattan in the background. So uh, let's, let's get cracking on this one, shall we? The colour, I've just, I've just put a colour, one colour on there. It's a, a deep, a deep blue. That's what I want. I want it for the sky. Let's, let, let's do the sky first and we'll, we'll twiddle on with different colours later. But it's it's a deep blue you've got. And I want to represent the sky. And let's do a slightly different sky today. It's a nice day. Okay? So there's the colour, or colour, if that's right. I'll just move that out of the way. And here's our uh, our picture. I've masked out the the actual Statue of Liberty there, and then the pedestal it's on, or the podium, where it is, and the base of it's down here. The Manhattan's in the distance there, and there's there's water all around here. So I think the first thing to do is let's get this sky cracking, shall we? And I'm using the this uh, the biggish brush. I've, I've shown you that one before. It's it's, it's the kitchen brush. I'm just going to wet the sky. This is clean water, by the way. So I'm, I'm doing a different kind of sky today. I like to give you a change. So it's America today. I don't know where it'll be tomorrow. Probably no but Let's go across here. I said that masking masking fluid is, is protecting the the Statue of Liberty for me. It's going cool, right down to the horizon there to see where we go. So we've got a nice, a nice clean wash of water. Because what I want to do today is uh, give it a, a sort of a a, a wash. Of blue and it's 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 a bit wet there so I'm going to clean that a bit let's get rid of that oops my brush is broken off and let's put a wash of blue on the top now the one minute I'm going to start with this this uh, rich blue I've got and go across the top here Nice strong, strongish blue at the top there. A bit deeper. As I come down like that. And then as I come down, I want to, because you get recession in the sky as you look at it, I want to sort of weaken the, the strength of the blue. So when we get down to the horizon, it's not, not not a very strong blue at all. But we'll uh, we'll sort it out. Get rid of that rubbish that's on there. Right down over the statue because it's protected. Don't forget. I'll leave it at that. Now here's a, here's a little little thing I want to show you as well. This is uh, I better just pull some out that colour from up at the base there. Get get rid of it. A little spiky bit there. It might be a bird later. We'll sort it out. Right. What I want you to do is then get a tissue like this. Roll it up this tissue. Like that. Nice and tight. And on the sky, pop it on the sky and just twist it as you go along like this. And again. I'm 
little bit at the top there. And perhaps a little touch more down at the bottom here like this. And what it's really doing that is, is, is giving you sort of what you can call uh, uh, cirrus, cirrus cloud. Which is a nice easy way of doing it, isn't it? To that done. I think what I'll do next is, uh, let's have a look at the Manhattan, shall we? Let's see if we can put some distance. I don't want any, any windows, anything like that. It's just nothing nothing special. It's, it's got to sit back in the background there. It's not going to jump out because this is in the foreground. That's really backdrop, Manhattan. Uh, let, let's see what... I'll, I'll turn about colour. I'll use a touch of that colour what we've we've been using for the sky and add a touch of perhaps a lizard into it. That's the, the crimson colour. Let's see what see what that gives us. And I'll always test your test your colour to make sure you, you get the this, this is the stuff I um, do it and make sure it's the colour I want. So we've got the wrong colour, it's, 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 a, it's a waste of time, isn't it? Well, that looks about right, that. <clears throat> so it's like a, it's like a, a bluey purpley colour, which, which gives some depth. Right, I'm going to, oh, I'm going to start this small end, so I want something that's a bit smaller than that to, to work with. Let's see what I've got, see if I can do it with this one. This is, these are chisel brushes, they're, they're, they're ideal for, for doing stuff like this. Because most of these buildings are straight edges, aren't they? Let's just slip in some, some colour like this. This is depth. I haven't mixed enough colour yet, so I'm going to sort that out in a minute. And don't try, don't try to say, well, that's the Chrysler Building or that's the the Empire State Building. Just just leave them leave them be as, as buildings. Or they get bogged down. The rigor, because I can't get around that bottom of that statue. Get around there. That's created. A, that's a bit, a bit depth like that, down to the water's edge. Let's get to get a bit further, I'll mix a bit more colour because I've, I've run out. And again with that colour, I'm, I've got, I'm using that sky colour and a bit of that alizarin crimson. There's a touch of, touch of water in there, it's a little bit strong. Test it on your, on, your, on your test paper and let's just go across here and let's see how, see how we go. This, this, uh, Manhattan is a beautiful, beautiful area because th there's so many skyscrapers. I mean, people there just live in the sky. It's, it's fantastic. It's fascinating. I mean, I've uh, I've been several times. I've been looking at it go several times. It's, in fact, the 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 laptop I'm working with uh, to to do to do these videos is is I bought it from the the Apple shop on Fifth Avenue. Now that's that's like a it's like a Aladdin's cave. It's beautiful. If you if you can't if you want to buy electrical stuff, that's the spot. It's absolutely lovely it is, and it's, it's, it's got a big big apple store, and then you go in there, and you go downstairs, and it's like there's a, an assistant to every every item, and they, 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 they tell you about it, and they're really professional, I'll tell you. The trouble is you can't stop buying. But uh, I'm just working across these, I'm, I'm just talking to... So you're just getting your board, but the the, the going on, it's a bit paler there, it's a bit stronger here. 
get these done. There's some big taller ones here. They go along. Short ones here, I'll turn the brush around. Short one here. And that tip, there's a curly bit on the top there. I'll use my rig up for this to get round it. And of course there's one of these uh, sticky up things on the top. Let's put some mast or something. That's, there's another one here, I'll put one on there while I'm working. Right, keep, keep on going across folks. It's therapeutic this. In fact I missed a bit there, look. there's that dome. Put that dome in. So the, the, it's a, a, tone, a, a flat tone really this, it, it's not, you're not putting colours in. And the, 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 the variety of brickwork and stuff like this, but but just, it's it's not important, it's a backdrop. And that, just, just, just treat it like that, it's, it's not important. The important thing is the Statue of Liberty, which, which you, we, we, we went on a trip here to that, and you get it from Brooklyn, the, the ferry, and then come across to uh, the Liberty Island, and it's, it's, it's a fascinating place, it's, it's unbelievable, it's so big, there's cafes and all sorts out there. And of course the, the next island to it is a, an island called Ellis Island. And Ellis Island is a, an island where, where immigrants used to be uh, migrated into, into, the, into the country. And they had a, an interesting way of, of uh, testing them to find out if they were sort of a suitable for for for, for coming into the to America, and it was a simple way, but they thought it was effective. It was about a three-story building, and what they did was they used to do, do the paperwork and that, and then said to people, "Right, I want you to uh, come up to the top floor." And the people that could walk up to the top floor, unaided, were let in. And if they struggled in that, well, they they, they weren't sure about letting them in because they were they were taking on sort of uh, more problems. So it was uh, it was quite an interesting island. That, that's Ellis Island, the immigration island, and it was fascinating, wonderful stories. And there's a statue there of a, of a, a girl who was the first migrant. I think she was an Irish girl. I'm trying to remember, you know, but I'm, I'm not sure. So don't quote me on this, it's just, it's just me rabbiting on. But hopefully this backdrop is, is, is coming, to, coming to life now for you. It's, it's not just uh, pencil marks and stuff like that, it's, it's, it's representing different buildings. Nice square on there. So on that side. And a, a, another fascinating thing, I, I, I know it's not in, it's about painting, but, but it, it's quite interesting, is when, we, we, on cruise ships, you see, when you sail away from uh, Manhattan, or New York, or whatever you call it, in, in, we usually sail, sail away about in the about evening time. And as you sail away past Manhattan, it's the one time when all the lights are on at once, in the the big blocks, and it's 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 flooded, and it looks like a firework display. It's so so beautiful. And the reason this happens is because 
at that time of night is when the cleaners are in the buildings with all the lights on cleaning the offices. So you get light in all the buildings and it's, 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 it's absolutely just, just sort of radiated with lights and it's, it's fabulous, it really is. A sight worth seeing if you ever get a chance. If you don't, you'll, you'll, you'll join me on some of these paintings. We'll, we'll, we'll take you around the world, we will. So look how we're going. There's a, a little, little tower there. We'll put that tower in. There's another one down there. Let's straighten that up a bit there. Don't want the building to fall down, do we? A little one just across here. You'll find when you're doing these, they're very therapeutic. Very, very, on one occasion, this, this uh, you know, in Manhattan and all, this Fifth Avenue and, and Broadway and stuff like that. In fact, we, on, on 42nd Street, which is, which is really where all the, the shows are, the, uh, Carol and I were was, was sort of just walking past out of Times Square and all that, which is fascinating, and uh, walk, walked in, into 42nd Street, and I found it, we found a place there that, that, that did American burgers. I'm not kidding. They were gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And uh, money it wasn't cheap, you know, but uh, but they were good. And they've got a strange tipping system there. Uh, if you don't tip twenty percent or so, uh, you're looked on as as a, a cheapskate. I mean, twenty percent. That to Yorkshireman is, is like oh, terrible situation. But, when in Rome, that's what we did. I'll put another point on that one, I like that one. There, yeah, that's better. It's a short one just here. You don't have to mix mu much of this stuff, it, 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 uh, it goes a long way. Straight, uh, straight up one there. It's a narrow one, this one. There's a pointy top on it. You can make them up as you go along, you know, you don't have to draw them, just 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 put in what you like. So you don't have to follow that for any lines then, it's 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 all done for you. Let's put a, there's a top on that one there. We're nearly there folks, aren't we? We're nearly at, nearly at the end of Manhattan there. And of course so one of the times I was talking about while we were there, uh, I'm, I'm interested in, uh, in 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 jazz. You know, any kind of that, that kind of music. I mean, I, I love sonatas. Sonatas is my favourite. And of course, you get Nat King Cole, who we were lucky enough to see live in in England. Uh, that was brilliant. That was. But I went to a, a Harlem, and Harlem's famous for its music. I went to a, a club which is very famous called the Cotton Club. Oh, magic, magic, just magic. And there's, there's all, all the gentlemen and people uh, playing my kind of music. And the, that's, that's a, a place where most of the famous people have, have stayed there or, or worked there or, or performed there. And, uh, and the likes of Ella Fitzgerald, Sarah Vaughan, and people like that. And, and, and in fact, the week that we were there, he was due to appear, a bloke called Bruno Mars, which I think is, is one of the, the more modern modern type chaps. Good singer. But, uh, I mean, Sonata's been there, and they've, they've all been there. It's, it's, it's just a magical place. And of course, Louis Armstrong, and, and they've been there. Fascinating, and, and of course we we had to go in Central Park, didn't we? Which is lovely. And there's a, there's a, a statue there for uh, on a big pedestal with Duke Ellington on the top playing the piano. That's all fascinating stuff. It's a fantastic park it is. And uh, the, the 
There's also a, 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 an area dedicated to John Lennon. That, that, that's, that's a fascinating. I say that. You didn't think it was going to be educational, this, did you? But it is. In fact, it's, it's just me talking, that's all. But it, it, it was absolutely lovely, it was. You know, I'm nearly at the end now. Central Park, lovely, absolutely. You get a kind of, you, and it's so, such a big park in the centre of, of, uh, of, of uh, Manhattan Island there, it's lovely. I'll put another, another big one here, there's not, nothing there, but I'll, I'll, I'll shove one in just to, just to fill up that side there. Nothing there. The, the, the odd spike in, in there might be nice, if I just... Just to give it a, a, a touch. Now that that in the distance there, it it's it's taking on the, the look of Manhattan. We know it's not perfect. We know it's not it's not what it's supposed to be. But that's it. We are. That's protected against that sky. You see. Like glue, it did not take some pulling off, but it's done the job for me. That's what I, did, what I wanted to do protect it. There we are, get rid of that. A little touch more on the end. I've taken a little of the pencil work out on there, but, but I'll sort it out. Let's just clean those brushes a bit, so we know where we are. Right, I've got to think of a colour now, which is which is a, a, a greeny colour. I've got to work it out what colour will, will do best for this. This is for the, the actual statue. I'll get my test paper and think of a colour. I see it's a... It's like, it's a, you know when copper goes a, a funny colour? That's the colour I'm after. So let's, let's see if I can find out a colour that's going to make, give me that colour. See that one, that sky blue, let's try that one. Test it on there. Bit more bluer than that. I don't, all I'm doing, folks, while I'm, I'm talking, I'm, I've got a, a touch of uh, cadmium lemon on the on the on the palette there, and I'm just adding some blue to it. with the sky sky blue I've got, and uh, looking for the colour that I want that, that suits me the best. So let's just get rid of that and make sure that that's I'm happy with that. Yeah, that's not bad. Right. Now, so it's better be careful with this. It's, it's as I say, it's it's because it's it's not it, it's it's not it's weathered and it gets this this like a greeny colour. It's copper, I think, but it uh, it, it, it it's definitely green. There's, there's, there's the arm going up holding the torch. Even the torch is green. The shoulder comes round there. It's massive, the building, absolutely massive. In fact, the, the only way I can really show you how massive it is, is if I put some tiny specks, which represent people, 
in the picture. That's how we'll, we'll give it size. And of course, because it's it's uh, it's greeny and, and and it's it's made the Manhattan go back a bit now because th this is the eye is drawn to the the green of the statue. Let's just put that in there. That stood on there. And of course the face is green as well around here. That's the face with the crown on top. I want to put some... Uh, I wonder if this, this stuff I've used here might use a, a, a bit of a... Uh, to shape the, the folds in the, in the dress. I'll, I'll, see, I'll see what happens. Let's see what, see what, see what happens. I'm, not, I'm trying not to use too many colours because uh, less is more. So the the the, the, the dress or what she or the robe what she's wearing is is is, is gets folds in it like this on the angle. here like this. Just restate that arm a bit there. And the light is going to have to come from, let's see now, what have it come from the, from the left today? So the darks will be on that side of the arm. Going up there. The head is it will be in, in, in shade. So I'll put that in dark. On the crown of course. You don't you don't, you don't just put jewels in or stuff like that, it's just you're suggesting this. This is a, a going around the arm. This is the as the dress goes up. So the light's from the left, isn't it? So that the right hand side of the, uh, the the torch will be shaded like that, and the hand. That'll do me now. That now the pedestal is a a colour which is we've used so often. You know that uh, raw sienna we've got, and the ochre or ochre, whichever one you like to call it. Let's mix some of that. We need some of that for uh, for doing the pedestal. You can go inside this building. You know it's. Uh, there's this steps all inside it, and you can you can go you can't go to the top because they've stopped doing that now because they, they used to be able to get to the where they walk around where the crown is on the top and this is the torch. In fact, I, was, I saw an old film with with people up there. It was fascinating, it was. But they stopped all that, I think. I don't know why, but 
you know what they're like, what happens. Right, this is this pedestal, let's put this pedestal in now. Keep away from the green till it dries. This is just the undercoat, by the way, folks. Not, uh, not the finished product. We'll sculpture it to make it look better. Give it this undercoat. All across here as well. Down here. There's some bushes around the back here. the undercoat done. Be careful up there. I'll leave that some I'll put some bushes in there. That's that, that that's his, his base where it's standing on. Some you're that chisel brush that, that might help to just give it a bit of shape. There we go with that. So now the, the colour we we used before that that burnt umber which we usually use in the sky, that's a good colour to to just add, add in with this. Let, let's let's just get get some colour onto that. The, this is the burnt umber. Just test it to make sure this is what I want. Yeah, that'll do. Now I'm just trying to put in here some indications of where it is like layers of, of brickwork and colour and stuff like that they're like all flat things there's one just here of course it's it, it, it's it's oh, it's a square or it's it's like it's, 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 oh, we can see two sides of it, put it that way. Taking a bit of shape. Ah, uh, this. Then the, the, the this thing comes down here like this. So it's dark around the corner like this. That's what that'll darken that that top bit later. This is a bit dark here on this. I'm going to have some darks on that, them, them bits that have just been over down there, but a bit smaller brush. So this 
this piece here is in shade just here just here just here and even up the top there <coughs> It's a massive plinth this by the way, it, it, it really is, it, it's, it's difficult to sort of give you scale with this thing, but it's, it, is, it is quite big. And of course then this one comes down here like this. So all the time we're, we're sort of making we give it a shape while well, just being a, a slightly different colour. It's a it's a brown, obviously, but uh, but it, it 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 is helping to give it shape. I'll, I'll give it an extra coat on this one here, just to darken it a bit. On this one here, these little chisel brushes are lovely for this. If if you if if you get out sometime and you haven't got one I suggest you get one because it's they do help your painting it saves you a lot of trouble right and under the under these little bits of uh, put a touch of dark into that touch more under here the, where, where the it's darker under there you see just slightly there under that one, where the, the the roll of it tucks under, looks a bit. Uh, it's it sculpted it. some under this side as well a bit more paint flick it under there that's better under that one and that one It's, it's coming on this. I'll put some of this greenery in just here first. That's the next bit on the island. Just here. Uh, let me see now. What I could do though is I wonder whether to put the water in it first and then do that. Yeah, I will. Water next. Put the water in. Of course, the, the colour that's in the sky is in the water, isn't it? So, we'll, that's it. Right, off we go. A bit tricky just here. This big brush is, 
it's, it's lovely for doing this kind of stuff. It holds a lot of lots of moisture in a lot of liquid. So I can paint a long way without changing. Under there. And I want to bring this 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 blue towards me. I, I put a touch of brown in it. That that'll 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 sort it out. Oh, let's get that. I missed a bit of C there at the back. Let's get that get that bit in first. And then if we got that, you see it just there. Look. strong that water there I just lift some of the colour out that that will push it further back you see I, I don't want it to jump forward that that's all right now I want to sort of darken this foreground here to bring it forward so I'm going to put some a bit of brown in that let's see how we go with that darken it that's it, I want to darken it around here, see. That's brought it forward. Right, hair dryer. So I can work. See, it's darker here see and to there so that that gives you instead of just a, a flat surface of blue it's a, it's because it's paler there darker here it means it means the water stands like that and it 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 it, it sort of it, it goes flat which is what we're after right we'll go do this bush work I, I promise you to start with get that brush washed out I do believe in washing my brushes out it's uh, it's clean pictures that's what it does it. Right, so I want a bit of greenery for this, these bushes and stuff like this here. That's a cadmium yellow. Just a touch of cadmium yellow there. And the, 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 the blue in the sky is, it, it would be ideal, I think. That's the Winds of Blue Red shade I'm using. So let's let's pop pop this in, shall we? I get this blocked in. There, we've got rid of most of the white, haven't we, now? I like to get rid of the white. Unless it's a winter scene, of course. I like doing winter. I'll have to do another one shortly. After this, after this trip to America, we'll, we'll, we'll think of something. Might, might be local next time. I want to darken the underside of that. So let's let's darken it a little bit. See what that's like. Just a sculpture a bit. The light's from the left, isn't it? So then the ending now will be on the right hand side. Dark down there, see. Yeah. 
you just substitute the, 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 the flat appearance of the, of the green, it gives, gives it a bit more interest. That'll do. That's it. Right, and there's, there's also uh, some greenery, a touch of greenery, uh, around here and stuff like that. That's a little bit of greenery on here. I see it's so big. This it's it, it, it really is big. Put a bit of a bush around here. That's sort of around the front of that pedestal. Perhaps a touch down here as well. Right now, what I want to do now is uh, put up. We'll, we'll put some. Put some people in, shall we? I mean, these are these are not people; they're just little blocks, of, of blocks of colour, because they're tiny. Uh, any any colour you like. I mean, I always start off with a red, don't I? So, the size of the figures lets you know how big the, the statue is, doesn't it? Right, that's that's that. So another colour. Oh, some of that cadmium yellow, that's a nice colour. This is Mabel's jumper colour. Put, put stood by him here. One just here. Have a bit of a blue in there as well. These Americans like the colours, you know. I'm just flicking these in. It's it's a bit boring, I know, but. Uh, it, it it helps you finish pitching this picture. I'm gonna put some in the middle as well because that's put some black in. We'll put them some heads on, how's that? That'll do, won't it? Let's straighten my brush end off. Just took some heads in. Put a, put a few in the middle there, it's, it looks odd. Uh, let's have another colour, some alizarin crimson. Put one or two in here. Two stood together, matching outfits. Put one round here. Put 
some, some heads on. Dodging them in a bit like that. Right, I want to put some uh, some some shadows in now because, uh, that's how the, the people there, the, the, it's 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 nearly to scale. Let's put some shadows into it, and you might get some shadows even on the on the distance of the the buildings in Manhattan. So we ought to sort of have a shadow colour, didn't we? Let's get a bit of shadow, shall we? Mix a bit of colour. This is I'm mixing some ultramarine there, and a bit of burnt umber, and that, and a little doubt and that down. The other light there. I think we'll, we'll, we'll darken. First of all, it's good right from left. We'll darken this side of the. The pedestal first. Let's darken that down. We're putting this dark here. It 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 helps to sort of make the make the pedestal and that look look a bit more three dimensional. Touch under there like that. Touch it dark under this. It's against the light under that sticky out bit. Of course, this will be in shade, won't it? This end piece here. As well. Not that, uh... Let's just, just have a look at this one. Try and put a bit of a pale shadow on some of these buildings here that's uh, that's in the distance. So I'll start at this side because I'm right handed. So the light's from the left isn't it? So the right hand side will be will be shady. It makes it more, it then just blocks of colour. It looks like the actual, actual, they are actually buildings which are shadowy on one side. It's, you don't have to be really busy with it, it's just, just an indication. And your buildings will, will, will take on a, a three-dimensional look as opposed to just flat colour.
There's a lot of buildings, isn't there? <laughs> Mind you, it, it's Manhattan. There's a lot of buildings there. And uh, well, another thing while I was doing, I'm do, just doing filling these in. The I went up the Rockefeller Center, which is better than going up the Empire State Building because uh, you get a fantastic view of the Empire State Building and also uh, Central Park. It's a fascinating view, and wow, and that that lift goes up at such a rate. It, I think I don't know how many floors there. I can't remember, but it, uh, oh. The speed that the lift goes up, your stomach starts disappearing down below. But it, uh, it, 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 it is, it's, 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 a, it's a good memory for me and, and, and Carol, of course. She didn't realise I was spoiler tickets on these trips. Right, we're getting there. We're nearly at the end of Manhattan here. It's, I say it's quite fascinating because where the where the ship docks on the on the where the we get off sort of thing is it down by the pier, the quays, and the next one to it is a permanent uh, military sort of uh, exhibition, and it's like a, a, an aircraft carrier. Uh, which is no longer used, and and on there there's every conceivable type of military equipment, like uh, uh, there's even the the, the Concorde on there, and the old Con remember the old Concorde plane, even that's on there. And there's also sort of helicopters and all sorts. It's just fascinating, it really is. Of course, we we can see this off of the. The ship, what we're on, just just you can photograph it from from the side of it. It's really good. Right, let's, let's put this one in here. Just getting to the end of it now. Now they they look they look a bit more. Uh, three dimensional now by, by having a dark on that side. Alright, let's just have a touch on, see if I can put a touch on the dark on the, on the Statue of Liberty, if I can, on, on around here. Get that down there a bit. So what, what's happening is that there's a shade underneath the folds of the dress, which is nice. And of course that's in darkness there, because it's like a, a piece that's, that's going the other way. Put the, the torch in, in shade just there, and the crown. I've got to be careful, I can, you can do too much, you know. If I just fill that bottom in there, it's, it's levitating. It. And now I'm, I'm looking for things to do, so I think I better, I better stop there. Uh, it's, it's always a tricky time when you're thinking, "Ooh, shall I put some more figures in? Shall I do this? Shall I do that?" And the other. But uh, but the there's more figures than that. I, I can tell you. But but I've, I've suggested one or two there for you, just to just to give an indication of of size and stuff like that. There's, there's a speck in the sky there, just there. That's I'll do that, I'll get rid of that speck by putting a little bird in, how's that? 
that's my final act. It's just a little bird because there's a speck in the sky. It's, you see that speck there? You can see it's just a tiny speck. So we'll just put this bird in here like this. That'll do. That's got rid of the speck. And everyone's happy. Well, I've enjoyed doing that, folks. I hope you've enjoyed it and then enjoy, enjoy painting it with me. Uh, if you have, it, it's it, uh, please give it a tick or a like or a subscribe and we will keep you advised on what's happening with the painting. And until next time, it's goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>